Hello and welcome to another episode of Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Well, I'm out and about and um, the other day I watched a video and um, of, a, of a reader and um, all you could see was the hands and the cards. And I was just like, oh, it's a bit impersonal, isn't it? And my girlfriend said, yeah, but it's also nice to see the cards and how they interpret them. So I thought like, oh, okay, never thought of it that way. So this video, it's going to probably be a once off, <laughs> this video will um, just be the cards, you know, that's all that changes, it's just a video where you just see the cards and my hands, and um, still the same, you know, oval energy, star signs, okie dokie, right, let's do that. So, let's have a look at the overall energy for the week ahead, before we go into the very first star sign of the week, which is still... Capricorn. Let's have a look what we have as overall energy for this very week. Here we go. <clears throat> we have the polar bear and the crown talk. <clears throat> for this week, the overall energy tells us that we are still all quite vulnerable. The energy of the overall energy is also quite fragile. So people are not quite sure what's going on. And the main issue that we're having this week is that we feel vulnerable, almost lost, or maybe more than just almost. Um, there's a feeling of being lost and the question is, will things ever change? Um, so to me, that's all about what is the new normal. Um, my feeling is, and I said that when I recorded the um, the uh, monthly, or the, sorry, the, the, the annual videos for each star sign, that eventually people will have enough of uh, lockdowns and um, um, all that kind of stuff. And eventually people will probably decide um, we rather die young, um, at least we're not being locked up. So not quite sure where we're going here as a nation, if that makes sense. But um, people are worried about what is the new normal, when can we be with our families and our friends and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> so the overall energy, to cut a long story short, is about being, feeling vulnerable, being worried. It would therefore be good. Obviously, you know, this is a <laughs> this is a spiritual reading, so um, I'm not doing politics, I don't do politics. Um, but this is the week for all of us to maybe um, you know make our make our voices heard. And we'll, we'll we'll get a bit more when we go through the actual star signs, which is what we do right now. We're going into the first star sign of the week. We're still in Aquarius. Sorry, we're still in Capric Capricorn. Um, <coughs> halfway through the week, um, the star signs will change into uh, Aquarius, but we're starting with uh, Capricorn. Let's have a look what we got for Capricorn. Capricorns have the goat and the fox. While the overall energy tells us that... For want of a better word, we're all a bit uh, vulnerable. The, the star sign or, of Capricorn is, um, is one that can take a sigh or breathe a sigh of relief. Because you have the goat and the fox. The goat tells you <coughs> that you have sacrificed enough and you are already stronger and also, if you are one of those people within the star sign of Capricorn that feels not quite sure what to do, the guides are saying to you, you have more skills than you know and that you maybe even have tapped into. So look at your skills that allow you to, um, sounds a bit weird, to survive, that allow you to um, start a different kind of career almost. So if you're a spiritual being, you're right. 
because what I'm getting is, you know, and I'm actually doing this myself. I'm not, I'm not Capricorn and Pisces, but I have, uh, I was thinking just the other day to actually do um, some of my workshops that I used to do, my circles, do some of that online, <clears throat> um, and that will happen soon. So what I'm getting for for Capricorns is to look into alternatives to what it is you're doing and, and talk to the guides more. But you're quite stable this week. You're quite safe this week. So maybe it would be important, or not maybe, it would be advisable <clears throat> to not go too much into worry this week, right? So short and sweet for Capricorn. Going into Aquarius. Let's see what we got for Aquarius. You have the shaman of foresight and the dancer of beginnings. So that again is a message that life <clears throat> just doesn't end, if that makes sense. And we are on the cusp of new beginnings. So I still don't know what the new normal will be because the guys haven't told me and maybe it hasn't been decided yet. Point is, <coughs> for Aquarius, <coughs> you have the shaman of foresight. You can see things. You will see what's going on. You will see what is happening. Um, and therefore, you don't have to go into panic at all. You also have the dancer of beginnings, which means there's a new path that you can then follow. right? So don't, again, this seems to be the overall energy so far, don't go into worry. And also, I'm getting this strongly, and, and I always say that we have overlapping energies here. And... Um, just like with Capricorn, what I feel for Aquarius is to realize, you know, that, that just because we have a new and maybe unprecedented energy and, and, and unprecedented times, um, you have the dancer of beginnings. You will find something to do with your time. I said that in other readings or other videos um, um, just recently. This year, for all of us, not just for Aquarius, is to make contact with like-minded people and like i said said you know obviously Pisces will be the next star sign down but <clears throat> if you can't meet people in person maybe you can meet them online right so i think it's 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 also important for aquarius to make sure you are hiring your energy by being with people who are of the same mind right so i'm not getting all that much for uh, star signs at the moment um, but what I'm getting strongly is <clears throat> to be aware that your energy is needed to make the next step or steps um, for your life. Make life count and always look at your spirituality because that you have the shaman of foresight. You are a very spiritual being and foresight might just mean insight, right? So... That was that. That was Capricorn and Aquarius handled. Going into the star sign of Pisces, which is my star sign. Just draw into that deck. Not bad for, for Pisceans this week. We have the Grey Wolf and the Rabbit. What they're saying is be in charge. Be in charge of your life. Don't think about stuff you cannot control. Things. Don't think about things that you may find difficult. You have the grey wolf. Here he is. Right? So we have the grey wolf as Pisceans, which means allow yourself to be in charge of your life, of the things that you know you can do within any confinement. You will be fine. And then we have the rabbit. Let me just see if we can show this closer, since this is the video where I'm going to show you the cards I'm using. I've been using these cards for a long, long time. I have no idea where you can get them, what they're called, because cards come to me whenever I'm being told I need to work with different type of guides. So um, I apologize if your next question would have been like, they're awesome cards, what are they called? I haven't got a notion, right? But the rabbit is basically saying to us Pisceans, there are so many options still presenting themselves. And no matter what we choose in the end, we will be more than capable of sustaining ourselves. So what I'm feeling is, and I have to say this is, <laughs> is um, quite 
apt in the sense that obviously this is for a week so we haven't been through the week so um, who knows what is what is bang on and what isn't but energetically speaking this is about realizing the more anxious you are and i have personally being a piscean myself i can get quite anxious over shit you know over stuff that hasn't even happened yet um so that's another message for us pisceans um um to not be too anxious life will continue it's all good right that was pisces pisces going into aries drawn to a completely different deck here that card obviously f fell out <coughs> <clears throat> for Aries, this is the week for you to realize that your own four walls, your own home, needs to be the place from which and from where you will draw your powers and your energy. Really, really important that you realize that any thoughts that you have inside the house will create your now and your future. And what the guides are saying to you is, don't try to plan ahead a long time. Be in the now and allow yourself to realize if there's anything not quite right in your home, this is where you, where you start to change it. You have not, uh, 21 or two and one is three, number of progression. So what the guides are saying to you is clearly have higher thoughts in your home, progress from there, but it is pointless, whatever that means, for Aries to try and plan ahead 6, 12 months. Um, yes, there are videos out there, I recorded them myself, to be fair, <clears throat> that help us with the overall energy of a certain time period of the year. But for Aries, just like all the other star signs thus far, it is much more important to be in the now. And Aries, your focus has to be what's going on in my house? What kind of thoughts have I got in my house? Are there other beings in my house um, that maybe are too demanding <clears throat> or they keep me away from what I feel I came here to do? Reflection is really, really important for Aries this week. Going into Taurus, I quite like this, you know. You seeing the cards and stuff. You have the shaman of birth and the shaman of loss. So <laughs> for Taurus, we have a saying in German, um, in Germany. Um, I don't know if I can translate it well. It's, it means, um, Wie gewonnen, so zerronnen, which means you just had it and it's gone, in a way. And you have the shaman of birth and the shaman of loss. What the, what, what, what the guides are saying to Taurians is, while you birth new ideas, it is really important that you maybe look at new things, new beginnings, new ways of do doing things and just let stuff go that you already on a soul level know aren't really working. Um, when you make new decisions, birth new things, you know, um, see things from a different point of view. See things to see, try and see things from a higher point of view and let um, go of stuff that doesn't work. And sometimes when things are leaving that are not quite working, even though it feels like a loss, it's actually not. It's part of a new beginning. And that's what I'm getting for, for, for Taurus, short and sweet. When ideas come your way, look at them without the, re the restrictions that you normally put on things. Oh, can I do this? Um, you know, what does it do to the others? It doesn't matter what it does to the others because this is your star sign. This is your message. You do what you feel is important. If you live with other people, the universe knows anyone who lives with you is your unit. They're going to make sure they're safe. Manifest just for yourself, right? That was Taurus going into Gemini. Here we go. Oh, and we're getting, we're getting more. We have the seagull, the lion, and the coyote. <coughs> what Geminis are being told is, while the overall energy of the week is that we might feel lost, I don't know 
what the heck is going on here, right? Um, so the worries that everybody has, because we just don't know, you know, um, for instance, will I ever be able to, to, to uh, open my shop again, right? And all these kind of things. What the guys are saying is, and this is just over that I'm getting, it feels to me that we are far from having things solved. It's just the over energy that the guides give me with regards to the, the, the star sign of, of Gemini. And what they're saying is, have a plan. If you're not sure what you can and cannot do, look at things that you can do. Manifest other things that you can do in the meantime. Um, <clears throat> right? So that, that's important. Also, what I'm getting strongly for Gemini, if you are self-employed, because that's what the guides really show me, self-employment, um, do fundraisers. Do GoFundMe uh, 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 things. Reach out. Say to people, I'm, I'm bloody struggling. And yes, some of them will say, like, welcome to the club. Right? But the feeling is there's no shame in saying, <clears throat> I'm struggling here a little. Anyone willing to help me financially so I can get whatever you try online, for instance, to get that, to get that sorted. Because you have the lion in the middle, which means you wouldn't mess with one. And so your surroundings are important. It is important for you to, sounds a bit weird, but obviously we're talking about the line here, that your, um, your territory is safe. So all the worries that you have make you feel vulnerable, therefore make your territory feel unsafe. And you have the coyote, which regards to the fund me thing, that's important that, or interesting that it comes up, because the coyote is a scavenger, which means even if no one would donate, you will be fine. And at the same time, because the universe is saying to Gemini's, there will always be enough to go around. Ask for help and see if people do help. There's no shame and there's nothing in there to feel bad about when you say, like, guys, I'm not doing well here, right? And just try things this way, okay? That was Gemini. The one thing that I notice is, because obviously my guides oftentimes change topics quite a bit, we're really still with, with the restrictions of uh, the, 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 the COVID thing. Um, and so that obviously affects our, our lives. That's hence, hence the over energy with, the, with the, the polar bear. The idea is that the polar bear of all bears is the one that is the most vulnerable. And all bears are about healing. So... Our over energy told us that we need to heal and to be very vulnerable and fragile, right? <clears throat> and then the, the stars will, have, will, will, or the guys will look into our energy and see where we're going. For Cancerians, let's see what we got for Cancerians for this week. Cancerians, stop, stop stressing. Really, really important. It feels to me that a lot of Cancerians sort of are not quite sure about their lives and this hasn't necessarily only to do with the COVID thing but it's like you know have I done have I made the right choices all that kind of stuff for this week don't stress because you have the parakin falcon <clears throat> which means you you are a bird of prey you understand that anything that you do is changeable and all you need to do is reflection. And here is why the opossum is here, because the opossum is one of those few rodents that is not scared of heights. What that means is, right, if you ask yourself the question, am I in the right place here, right, just quietly reflect. And also, you see things exactly the way they are. So you don't have to question things. Oh, am I, am I seeing this right? Or am I making this up in my mind? You will feel the truth. So live that truth for Cancerians. Most important thing this week for anyone out there who, who happens to be Cancerian <laughs> is to, um, <clears throat> to not stress. Right. So, guys, um, I can hear, mm, when I hear that, I can hear a bit of feedback, a bit of um, uh, echo bouncing back off the table. I have a new table. Um, um, me and my girlfriend put it up today. So it feels like that the sound sounds massive where I am. I have to sort of see um, if you can hear this. If you can hear this, um, please let me know if, if you still feel that's a good way to record or, or you're a bit, um, you know, um, 
I don't know if the sound sort of annoys you. There's nothing I can do about my about my accent, is there? <laughs> okay, just mess. <clears throat> Going into Leo. You have the panther, can't pronounce the H. You have the panther and the moose. And the moose. What the guides are saying to you is don't have a persona that you show the world because you feel you're vulnerable and you feel like, you know, um, I better hold back here a little. And um, I, it almost sounds like you're trying to please people, um, which is quite un-Leo-like. And all the guides are saying is you don't have to do that. Don't hide your truth. Because you have the moose, which, which is an animal with unless Every time you have unless it means you're protected. Because the moose have a, has a split hoof, right? When it goes to terrain that's difficult, he won't sink in. What the guides are saying is you're safe by just being truth full and true to yourself you will be fine okay short and sweet for leo going into virgo you have the dance of reconciliation I don't know if you can see this and the dancer or the spirit of destruction okay what they're saying is it's time to look at pain trauma worries that sit inside you and that have sat inside you for quite some time and the message is you need to really look at this if you have a bit of a breakdown that's actually a positive thing look at how you feel virgos and the message is because you have the spirit of destruction if you do not look at things that are sitting inside you you can't complain when you feel crap all the time and you feel nothing is working for me now is the time for virgos to look into trauma and ask the guides for help in overcoming them because you have the dance of reconciliation which means it's time to make peace with something and it may not only be um pain that sits or has sat for a while inside you because that's what the guides gave me initially my feeling is also that this has to do for some of you Virgo at least um, with family members who feel a bit entitled and you feel like you know I'm way too old to be treated that way um, you know and you have to make peace with this and if that means you have to walk away from them so be it and if it means you have to uh, you have to accept an apology you never get so be it um, because you have the spirit of destruction, it is not a good week to actually confront people this week and say like, you know what, I'm really not happy about this. This is not a good week for you to do this, right? But look into your trauma and, and work on it. I'm sure the time will come where you can actually sit people down and, and tell them what, you know, what, what damage they have done. Okay, so that was Virgo. And now we're going into Virgo. So we have Virgo, Libra, Scorpio and Sagittarius left. Libras. Libras, didn't I just say? Yeah, Libra. We're going into Libra, just in Virgo. <laughs> you have the snake and the horse. Right? If you can see this. This is the snake. And... La, la, la. The horse. The message for Libra is to realize that just like the star sign before, which was Virgo, you are going through pain. You're going through the release of trauma. But you have the snake. The snake is the animal of health and protection. You know, when you go to a, to a, to a pharmacy, you see a snake around the cane, right? So what the guides are saying is, you're already at a stage where um, you're shedding your skin. You are already, you have already started letting things go. And in order to continue letting things go, hence the horse, you need to walk away a little you need to have a lot of me time this week 
and you need to say to people, I need time, or I'm going to make time, to reflect on my life and you in it, if that makes sense, right? So, um, yeah, that was Libra going into Scorpio. The one thing I should probably say at this time is, uh, if, just in case you haven't noticed, this is not an easy week at all because we feel like, you know, what's next? What's going on? And so because the energy, the overall energy isn't great, sometimes it is important to realize when things are already not, not great, things that aren't working feel worse. So for all of us, always take a step back, right, um, before you look at anything. Right, that was Libra going into Scorpio. And you have the ringneck pheasant and the jaguar. <clears throat> Very interesting. Because the ringneck pheasant is basically, the, the message basically is, it doesn't really matter how well you come across, how well you express yourself. There are people in your life who want to misunderstand you and who will misunderstand you. And because you have the feeling to a, to a certain extent, I don't know, whatever I, whatever I do here doesn't really work, right? What they're saying is you have the Jaguar. The Jaguar has unique dots and stripes, right? There's no two alike that look the same. So what they're saying is, even if you feel, I'm not getting anywhere here, don't try to follow, right? Be yourself at all times. Because the way this feels to me, this is not something that will that will be there forever. This is just, uh, uh, communicatively speaking, a difficult week. And um, Scorpio will feel it. Um, and all they're saying is, at, you know, keep also, you know, um, hold your head high. You will be fine. But at all times, be yourself. Okay? That was Scorpio. Going into Sagittarius, the last star sign for the week. And you have the companion and the shaman of tradition. For Sagittarians, this is a week to look into your relationships that have to do with love. Can you hear this in the background? That's my bloody heating coming on. <laughs> my um, boiler was broken. They fixed it, so it's working, but now it makes all these weird noises. <clears throat> so this is not part of um, a message for Sagittarians that there are monsters coming out of the cupboard anytime soon. Right? Not at all. What the guides are saying is, you have the companion. Look at the people you love. Look at the people you're with. If you feel you're on your own, um, pretty much now is the time to manifest that companion. You're not alone to go. You're not supposed to go it all alone. Look at the relationships you're in because you have the shaman of tradition. Which means sometimes when things become routine, you live that way. And all the guides are saying is look at the relationships you have with people, especially close relationships. People that walk on the path with you and um, and see if it has come a bit stale um, and that's really all all there is right that's all we have time for yeah like I said bit of a difficult week but that's the way it is see you all next time bye bye